President Tsai Ing-wen has decried Beijing's new security law for Hong Kong, saying it proves that the one country, two systems framework is not viable. On Tuesday, China's National People's Congress approved the law formally. The security law's uh, enactment is expected to contribute to the growing tide of Hong Kong citizens wishing to settle in Taiwan. Taiwan's central government and Taipei city government are mobilizing to provide support for Hong Kong citizens who are resettling. Exile Hong Kong bookseller Lam Wing Ki points to his flag. Free Hong Kong, revolution now, it says. It's possible, he insists, but he admits the security law is a hard blow. We saw this coming ever since the extradition bill came out. I wouldn't have escaped last year otherwise. The thing is, I didn't realize the changes would be so extreme. The Apple Daily boss, Jimmy Lai, he says he's not leaving Hong Kong. The same with Joshua Wong and so on. They haven't said they're leaving. I've always thought they ought to keep themselves safe, first of all. Lam and other Hong Kong exiles around the world have organized a voluntary service to help others who may try to escape. We can sort of prop them up, as it were, so they can go and find the organizations and friends who will help them. China once promised that Hong Kong's situation would stay stable for 50 years. With the approval of the security law, we can see that promise has been grossly undermined. We feel profoundly disappointed. This proves that one country, two systems is not viable. President Tsai has once more spoken up in support of Hong Kong's struggle for democracy. On Wednesday, the new Taiwan Hong Kong Service Exchange Bureau opens. Its job is to provide humanitarian assistance to Hong Kong citizens. Taipei city government has also pledged to form a task force to help Hong Kongers move to Taiwan. A new section on their immigration website is dedicated to Hong Kong and Macau. We are providing a welcoming service with dedicated personnel, dedicated phone lines and dedicated procedures to help them with issues related to education and work. The number of Hong Kong citizens trying to settle in Taipei has been gradually growing ever since the extradition law was announced. Now, as the security law is enacted, observers expect those numbers to keep rising. With national and local governments stepping in to support Hong Kong, Taiwan seems to be serious about its role as a bastion of democracy in East Asia.